Billy Brownless and James Brayshaw. This is Triple M's Rush Hour Bills joke still to come. Oh, now, yes. I haven't been here for a while, Fat. No, I know Because that. last year, of course, we had the pandemic. And that meant that there were virtually no cars on the road. No. You had to have a permit to drive. And therefore, Melbourne became the best place in the world to drive a car. It was the only benefit Mate. of 2020. Driving from Melbourne to Geelong, Geelong, Melbourne. Magnificent. Oh, how good. Oh, wow. We. So, of course, that's all stopped. Yep. And so, uh, hit the uh, thing for me, uh, Rabbit. Sting. Vote one for Jim's traffic party. Oh, oh Bill. Oh, it, when I run for sting. parliament, <laughs> given what's going on in bloody parliament oh, locally, oh, you'll, certainly yeah. not federally, locally, well, you'll I'll, get in. I'll stampede my way in. Well, you what? But what 2020, of course, a shite ridden year, as we know. But an amazing knock on effect, Fat, yep. of the COVID pandemic has surprised even me. Mm-hmm. And that is. Somehow people have become even worse at driving a car. Surely not. I don't know how. How? Well, they had a year off and they've come back worse. <laughs> I'm going to give you some examples. Yes, please. Roundabouts. Oh, yeah. They've operated the same way for a thousand years. <laughs> Rome's full of them fat. Yes, it is. It? In our country, you give way to the right yep. at a roundabout. Yeah. So if there's no one either on or approaching the roundabout from the right, you don't ever have to stop. No. You slow down. It, no, it does my head in, Bill. Mm. People drive up to a roundabout and for absolutely <laughs> no, no reason <laughs> stop their car. Yeah. Why? Because they don't know how to drive. Because they're nimrods. Nimrods. Right. So that's an example Rome. of what I see way too much oh, of. Oh, Rome got to uh, mention. Yeah. <laughs> if you're turning left, Fat, yes. and there are two lanes on the road you're travelling on, move across to the left mm. before you turn left. Ah, yeah. Unless you're driving a semi-trailer. Yeah. And you need the... the... You don't need to turn left with half your ass on the right lane. I like that, Jim. Bill, have consideration for the people behind you. That's a good point, consideration for people behind That's you. That's it. Yes. So when you're right. turning left, left and there are two lanes, get yourself over to the left before you turn so the people in the right lane can yes. keep driving. That's it. I like it. Yeah, good. All right. If you're waiting on a green arrow... Yes. Now is not the time to check the text on your phone. Hmm. There'll be 10 people behind you, Fat, trying to get across the same green arrow. Yeah. And guess what? Yeah. They won't if you don't move your ass once the arrow's green. Consider the people behind well, you. Well, another one. Exactly. Yeah. There, there is no reason ever to leave 50 metres between yourself and the car in front of you. Spot on. Especially the green arrow. I'm with you. I do that nearly every day to go somewhere. That's it. And if they're a bit slow. Oh, oh. There's no reason ever to suddenly break when you've got 50 metres between you and the car in front of you either. No. What about those people? Just drive along and suddenly, for no reason, the brakes. What about when you're going through traffic lights, it's green, so everyone's going yeah, along nicely at 80, but some of those people hit the brakes well, when they go reason? through traffic lights. Yeah. Well, finally, oh, no. 10 metres before an intersection is not the time, Fat, to realise that you want to turn right. Oh, you no. cannot simply hit <laughs> your indicator 10 metres before the intersection and stop and go, oh, now I'm deciding to go right. Mm. You do that in front of me, and you will get an extended, long, continuous horn. <laughs> <laughs> I hold it, Bill. Do you? I hold the full horn. You hold your yeah. horn. And then you get an apology. <laughs> yeah. I don't want an apology. No. Keep driving. No. Turn right somewhere down the road. The next one, yeah. Right, that's so these are all things I've seen, Bill, yes. since we've got back on the roads. So if you're listening... And mm-hmm. everyone does because yep. millions of people listen to this show. Yes. Uh, it is incumbent on you to drive a car properly. Otherwise, don't drive. Can I just throw one in there again, which I've noticed is the people that sit on 90 no, no. right-hand lane well, they already going be. down to Geelong. That's Jim. ignorance. That's it's, just pig ignorance. Well, it is. They're not worried about anyone behind no. them or anything. Just, and all you have to do is move over. Move over. Move over and, and we're out of your way. Exactly. No, Jeez, well, that's, that, that, that's, that's, that's a staple pillar of the traffic party. Just... But we've been going on for 10 years about that. People still don't get it. Whether it's Monash, whether it's freeway oh, yeah, down to exactly. your joint. Yeah, you're right. They're never uh, in the right lane unless you're overtaking. What about your traffic party? Do you reckon at one stage there would be no work on the Westgate Bridge? Oh, ever? My God. Ever? <laughs> Jim? What is that? It's always 20 something. years, especially the Werribee side of yeah, the Westgate. Yeah, where, yeah the it? other side. The yeah. 20 years there's been stuff going on. <laughs> I know. Oh, you'd, you'd get it done in 20 years, wouldn't you? Well, I don't know. Now, oh, well, they've got the tunnel now, so I don't know how long that's going to be. Yeah, what else I've <laughs> noticed when you go down to Geelong, and I'm, of course, going down Friday for... Lucky you. Less cameras. 
Well, there's four. Well, a, few, a few less now. There's four, Jim. There's four. I've actually knocked a couple off with the recent work. So. No, there's four. Less cameras, there's Four fat cameras. On the way down. Yes. That's not a bad thing. No. Well. Vote one for Jim's traffic party. This is the Rush Hour with JB and Bill. Bill's joke is yes, up next please. to wrap up a massive show.